Hey guys, it's Paul. Let's talk about the Everyday Backpack from Peak Designs. And I'm going to kind of separate my thoughts on this into two categories. One, as a professional in TV film, and secondly, just as a normal consumer for everyday use. So let's just run through the features really quickly. This is basically just a giant top-loading dump pouch. It opens right here, and you just dump all your stuff in there. The only other main compartment is this laptop compartment. In it, you have a place to put your laptop, a sleeve that you can put like maybe an iPad, and then sort of a catch-all pouch here for sundries and knickknacks. On the outside, you have two drink pouches here and here. Up by the lip, you have a small little kind of hidden pocket. What makes this bag nice is it has four zippers. So you don't just have to get to the dump pouch from the top. You can actually zip up from the bottom and get into the pouch there. So everything at the bottom you can get to. This design is not unique. I have other backpacks that currently have this four zipper design so you can get to the bottom stuff easier, but I wish every backpack would have these and adopt this design. It's so convenient. Inside you have a hook and loop field on the back and you have these hook and loop dividers so you can divide up your compartment inside however you want. Velcro dividers like this are not unique. I have other bags that also have this, so this is not a unique feature, but it's a nice feature. What is a little unique though is that these are actually really well padded. Not all the dividers I have are this well padded. That's nice. Also that these dividers can be subdivided to create even more compartmentalization. That's also kind of unique and also kind of nice. On the inside and each side you have pouches on the sides with some admin. These obviously look like they're specifically for camera batteries as you have spots for batteries that are dead. Also on the outside you have this magnetic pouch where you can get these compression straps. These compression straps can go all kinds of places like this or like this. There's attachment points here and here and here. There's attachment points all over the place. And that's basically it about this bag, although there are some little nice features. Beautiful leather grab handle plus two grab handles on the side. Honestly, having two side grab handles here is amazing. Most backpacks don't have this. Great job, Peak Designs. Drain holes in the bottle pockets, locking zippers, rotating shoulder straps so they go on and off easy. Cool magnetized latch to open your dump pouch with sort of a ladder system that you can go up and down this. So that is the tour about what this bag is like. So, would this be used in a professional TV film setting? Well, to be fair, usually in professional TV film settings we have armadillo cases, which are really hard on the outside, they have a lot of foam on the inside, and they really protect our lenses. Additionally, they're opened up, so you see everything in front of you, so you have quick accessibility. On a set, having everything there quickly and easily accessible is very, very, very important. And there actually are some backpacks that are designed that way, which you just open up the top and everything is there, easily accessible, so you just open it up and bam, you're ready to go. So this particular design, because one, it doesn't have as many places to put stuff, and two, they recommend you separate things off so you have some things over here, and then some things over here. Flipping things back and forth on the set would be sort of obstructive and kind of a pain in the butt. But you know who this bag would be perfect for? Wedding photographers, event videographers, low budget video shoots, basically anything where you have to be mobile. This bag, I believe, is designed so you're mobile, so you can have it on your back, swing it around, pull out your camera and all that stuff. That doesn't happen on a TV and film set, but it does happen at weddings. Wedding photographer bag, this is a great option for that if you don't have a lot of gear or you're an amateur or you need to be mobile. Strictly professionally though, if you're a shooter and you're looking for a great shooter bag, Hazard 4 has some amazing run and gun bags. I actually would get one of those instead. So then how does this stack up as an everyday bag? Something that you put all your stuff in is sort of a hybrid. Granted, all my opinions here are based on what I need, what your needs are, they may vary, so just take it with a grain of salt. This is the stuff that I carry with me every day. So, typical stuff. You have MacBook, iPad, regular pads, although I have a lot of screenplays I'll add to this, just documents in general. Charger for MacBook. A battery, so if I'm on location I can just plug my MacBook into that and have juice, plus the cable. Mini toiletry kit in case I need to take out my contacts or brush my teeth somewhere. Small first aid kit. Gym clothes or overnight clothes. Normal admin stuff. Pens, chapstick, multi-tool, earbuds, power bank, cables for the power bank, flashlight, just normal everyday admin stuff. Let's see how they fit in this. MacBook in. iPad in with difficulty. It's really tight already. Pads and documents. There's no place for that, so I'll put those aside. 
MacBook cable, I guess I could use this pouch here. Power bank. Power cable. Toiletry bag, dot kit. First aid kit. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but my MacBook cable is right here. It's actually taking some of the internal space of this pouch. So I'm not gonna be able to put as much stuff in there because my MacBook cable is taking some of that space. Gym clothes. It's gonna be a tight fit. Glasses. Now, because there isn't really an admin panel on this where I can get quick access on my sundries like this, I have to put them in this pouch and put this pouch in here. It's really full. Okay, all that stuff fit in there, but barely. Forgot snacks. I'd like to at least try to bring my lunch with me. I know this isn't my lunch, but just as an example. There's surprisingly not a lot of space in this. I do like that I can get to my battery really easily. That's awesome. But with the lack of an admin panel here, I'm forced to put my admin right in this, which takes up internal space. So it kind of takes up space. I don't feel like I should have to take up. I know that you're saying maybe there's some admin here on the side wings, but typically speaking, when you have a backpack, you open up this, get to your admin one step. For these, you have to open this up, open that up. There's two steps. You actually have to open up the interior of your backpack to get to your admin at all. Additionally speaking, I feel like every backpack or messenger bag should have an external quick stash pocket. I'm at a coffee shop. I want to throw my phone in somewhere real quick and take off. Doesn't have one. Additionally speaking, I know people have mentioned this before, these back straps are incredibly uncomfortable. If you make a backpack that you can't even wear on your back for periods of time, <laughs> anyone is a bag designer out there, please get the basics first before you do all the bells and whistles. The basics are make it comfortable so it can bear your load on your back. It's a backpack. Give people quick access to places they can stash stuff really quick when they need to just go. And give people the document space that they need in order to do their office stuff. Every person I know with office materials needs at least three spaces. One for a laptop, one for an iPad, and one for documents. When you don't have those spaces, your backpack becomes sort of unusable. Here's an example. Here's my standard Pacific backpack. It's got a space for a laptop, space for an iPad, and this whole back space here where you can hold documents. So all these documents can be in this empty space, laptop, iPad. Easy. By the way, while I have this out here, another really cool feature about the Standard Pacific, and I haven't reviewed this because they're sold out, so there's no point in doing it because you can't buy it anyways, is that on this side, look at that. They have this cooler pouch. Originally, I felt like that this was just some gimmick, but then I realized that every day I usually throw an energy drink into my backpack, drink it halfway through the day while it's warm. I was like, this is genius. And I use this feature every day. I wish other bags would implement such a cool, innovative idea because I use this feature all the time. By the way, notice these Hazard 4 shoulder pad add-ons. I'm gonna have to take this off and add it onto this because it's so uncomfortable. So what is my bottom line with the Peak Design backpack? Well, I mean, it's beautiful to look at. I feel like the design is really good. I feel like they have some really good ideas are going the right direction. However, for me personally, and for my usage, because of the lack of administration pockets, because of the lack of places to put documents, because it just doesn't really hold everything I need to hold, plus it's crazy uncomfortable, you can't even hold onto your pack very long with any weight in it. At $300, you want your pack to do almost everything you need it to do, because that money is going towards feature and functionality. This pack has a lot of features, but does it function for you? And if it functions enough for you, at $300, it should function everything you need. You really should get all the functions you need at $300. Then this is a great pack for you. It's sort of like dating. You want to find someone who's like your 95, 100%, and that's the person you marry. If someone's like a 60, 70%, you don't date them for very long. At least you shouldn't date them for very long, unless they're super pretty. And this is super pretty. Anyways, my bad life choices. Lots of awesome stuff about this bag. Again, you just need to decide if it has the right features for you personally, because for some people it will be amazing and for other people they're gonna be disappointed because it doesn't have what they need. At $300, you should make sure that this has what you need and for a lot of people, it will. 
Guys, thank you very much. This is Paul, and that's a wrap.